not great but I'm bored at home like after the classes I cannot even hang out with my friends anymore because the lockdown here it's at 2.5 level now and honestly I'm just tired I know a lot of people can relate with me because a lot of people have been just locked inside their houses and nothing much to do and not even able to dress up but after coming to Korea, I realized that the fashion here is very different than in India. Obviously, I was anticipating that, but I did not want to give up my clothes. I mean, my clothes are so pretty. That's why I got all of them here. But problem is that I can't really, like, you know, wear all of them. For about one year, I was actually observing people about how to dress up here. Good thing about Koreans is that they put a lot of efforts into wearing clothes, you know, dressing up or styling themselves up. So I decided that I would also, you know, try to blend my Indian style into the Korean style and see how it works out. And honestly, I have only been benefiting about what I'm doing for past one year. Like for example, first I developed a quite good sense in fashion and also I got quite nice Instagrammable pictures and I can't just stop posting them like after coming to Korea I have way too many good pictures not only because it's so pretty around here but also because I've also been styling of myself a lot and another thing is that there are about four seasons here like you know from 35 degrees Celsius till minus 13 degrees Celsius so it's raining it's snowing sometimes the wind is blowing strong so even after coming to Korea for the first time I was really uh, confused with the weather here because it's not the same as India so for one year I, I observed how the weather changes here and how people also change their style completely as the season changes so I also kind of you know got into that line now and I can't believe myself that like you know <laughs> I like dressing up so much but I like dressing up back in India too and I always would you know keep buying clothes or like pretty clothes every time I see something nice but after coming to Korea actually I have been shopping a lot more because as compared to India the clothes are pretty cheap here uh, but the food is expensive uh, let's not talk about that but you can you know buy really good quality trendy clothes just on streets like you know I showed that to you guys in my first video uh, so my plan here is that I'm actually going to show you how I styled up myself uh, just in the autumn I'm doing this just for autumn season because it's already started getting cold outside like the summer is already gone I feel so sad about it because you know I'm from Mumbai I'm from a tropical region I don't really like when the winter comes and when it's snowing I know it looks really romantic but it's really cold and you have to Keep layering up and then it's just messy uh, but my point is that since the fall is already here I'm going to do the fall uh, fashion session today you know while making it I would also get some inspiration by myself uh, I mean I don't mean it I mean I will get motivated to dress up more another reason I'm doing this is because when I came to Korea for the first time I was very overwhelmed because it was my first time leaving India and coming to a new country and I did not even have like known friends here or like you know friends that I had met before here around me so I was a lone shark and uh, all of the people that were around me were foreigners I was kind of uh, you know in the sea of foreigners I was very lost so uh, in the beginning I did not I could not even take subways that I mean metros and uh, every time I I took a metro I would always be like you know feeling insecure about uh, people looking at me or you know I look different maybe they're looking at my skin color or I don't know I just had a lot of insecurities and then I kind of decided uh, maybe I will start dressing up 
people like them so they will stop staring at me so I mean that's how it started and I kind of started blending both Korean and uh, Indian trends into my own style and I'm, I'm actually loving it so you know all the experimenting I've been doing for like past one year I kind of wanted to share it with you guys as well so I really hope you watch it so you know grab a coffee laid back chill and watch me style up myself for like 10 minutes <laughs> let's go <laughs> So I'm going to start with the basics that I own in black, white, beige and grey colors. Good thing about basics is that once you invest in them, you can style them up differently and they won't even look repeated. I will show you what I mean by that in a bit. Few of my favorites are these turtlenecks and also this half turtleneck cause it is not very packed around my neck. I also have invested in v-necks as well, they don't go with every kind of bottoms. I'm not a fan. Most of my long sleeves are crop tops and I have also bought a few shirts and learned how to style them off after coming to Korea. Starting with basic blue denim that I use quite often during fall. I like my jeans skinny and high waisted but generally they are too long for me so I just simply fold them from bottom and I'm good to go. One tip if you are looking for a good pair of jeans. Go for something high waisted because you can hide your tummy like I'm doing here and also it is absolutely in trend these days. Here is another one of my baggy high waisted jeans which is slightly loose for me so I simply wear a belt with it. And with a cropped biker jacket the whole outfit is very casual yet very cool. A turtleneck never goes wrong with baggy jeans but it would be chilly outside to leave my arms open like this. So I'm going to put mid-length ivory color jacket over it and here is my another outfit good to go. Here is my another bell bottom jeans which if you notice also high waisted and goes well with basic crop top. Moving on to another basic outfit I will show how I change only the jacket to completely change into an another fall outfit. So I'm starting with the shortest jacket I have. It's a full and it feels so warm. My bottom line of wearing the jeans is also saved and I wear it with both of my skinny jeans and bell bottom jeans and it goes well with both of them. This mid length jacket I feel looks better with a turtleneck but with a round neck top it doesn't look so bad. The base trench coat is one of my favorites as it goes with a lot of fall outfits so well. It is so basic that most of the Koreans will have it in different lengths. This one is the longest full jacket I have and it is a good outfit for a casual vibe and moreover it can be sexy as well. I also want to show how I style my turtlenecks with really wide neck sweaters. As you can see it can be a little too showy from front so I wear a turtleneck top from inside. But instead of jeans, it goes well with skirt but don't forget to tuck in in front part of the sweater as this way the outfit looks really cute. Here is another wide neck sweater which is super cute and it's really thick so I don't feel cold even if it's with a skirt. Another way I use the same sleeveless turtleneck from inside is wearing it with the strappy dress which also exposes both my front and back and not a good idea to go out like that in cold and wearing the same with this strappy jumpsuit. Now for a change of outfits, I'm starting with mini skirts and since wearing skirts can be a bit cold during fall, I'm layering it with my peach coat and the whole outfit is actually pretty cute and yet feel very very warm. Now I'm getting changed into a typical Korean beige colored with chicks pattern suited for fall skirt and I'm going to simply layer it up with basic beige trench coat which I either tie at the back or tie into front. But if I'm in the mood of not going full Korean style, I use my leather jacket for a change of looks. Trust me, biker jacket is the best fall fall weather. If the weather is slightly windy, I go with my beige turtleneck sweater which is super warm and gives a different fall vibe. But to be honest, I'm not a fan of monochrome themes so I really love styling up my turtleneck sweater with my black leather skirt and I think it looks hotter. But sometimes when I feel a little lazy, I just don't tuck in the sweater and let it flowing. 
My favorite combination is styling the same skirt with a full sleeves crop top and layering it up with a short jacket so it feels really warm. This is my university jumper and it's super warm and goes well with this outfit. Let me show it off a bit because I'm really proud of it. With the same outfit, sometimes I like to use my beige trench coat as a brace. So I tie it up completely from front and there I go. A small tip, the coat looks prettier with your long sleeves and short skirt popping out slightly and that adds an element to your overall fall outfit. And you, and you If I have plans for dinner, I style up my shirt with the leather skirt to look ready for a fancy dinner. But it might feel cold, so I use my coat to fight the cold. This one is my favorite summer dresses, which no way I ain't not gonna wear during fall. So I style them up similar to how I style up my mini skirts. So either with the basic beige trench coat or not to brag but I love my university jumper so I find excuses to style it up with my different outfits. Moving on to long skirts, I wear basics with most of them but autumn calls for jackets so here is my classic date outfit with a slightly long blazer. Another one of my flowy skirts which also goes well with a mid-length jacket. If you notice, my YouTube DP is with this outfit, ha ha ha. This one is my long wool skirt which I wear in winters as well. But instead of wearing a black basic top, I like wearing it with a beige v-neck top. This top is slightly thin and see-through so I layer it up with a short wool jacket. It's an overall warm cute autumn outfit. Or, you know, I can go for more of an elegant style by wearing this trench coat instead. Moving on to long dresses I have, I like styling them up with a biker's jacket which absolutely looks pretty and gives off a Korean vibe as well. Or, I go for a black coat to give it a completely elegant vibe. Please excuse me for dancing so much, there was some music going on in the background and I just went extra. <laughs> As a surprise, I am going to tell you how I style up my kurtas in Korea. Yes, you heard it right, I wear kurtas even during autumn cause come on, they look super nice especially with a biker's jacket. Give it more of a desi vibe with some glares and there you go. But I also go for an NRI kind of vibe because I am abroad and I want to show off. <laughs> Just kidding, I kinda like this outfit because it looks really pretty. Going for another suit I have which is absolutely my favorite and Korean style ain't gonna stop me from wearing it. So layer it up with the speech code I have and there I go. Here are some of my daisy moves especially for you guys. Please don't judge me. Now lastly I have some thick wool pants which I go for crop hoodies or tops. So it is a very good going for dance class fall outfit. Here is another one of my crop tops that I layer up with a shirt to give it more of a cool vibe. Finally this outfit that I started this video with and this fashion show has come to an end. So really thank you for watching this video guys. If you are curious about which outfit is from where, please do let me know in the comments. If you like this video, please put a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel Puchino. If you are curious about my style, do follow me on Instagram. See you soon. Bye bye.